Hi, this is Dawn Barkley with Insider Travel Report, and I am at Travel Market 2022. Uh, American Marketing Group's uh, 50th plus two uh, anniversary celebration. And I am here with um, Nicole Maza, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of the organization. And I am with Catherine Maza Burney, who is the Chief Sales Officer. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, so tell me, uh, we spoke a little bit about the pandemic and how it affected you, and you've talked about having a silver lining. Uh, so I'd like to know about how the pandemic affected AMG. Um, did you lose members? Uh, and how are your members better or worse for the experience? And what were your silver linings? So I think there were plenty of silver linings uh, throughout the pandemic. So when we all talk about it being... Um, you know, the worst time in our history, which it absolutely was, it actually gave us the opportunity. It gave us the opportunity to sit back um, and to open new businesses, grow new businesses. It gave us the time to truly immerse ourselves in our accounts business, truly get involved, um, truly speak to them, truly help them maximize um, their bottom line um, with opportunities that they were missing out on because they've been so busy. They haven't had the time to really sit back and evaluate their business. Um, and it gave us the time to do that with them. Have we seen a little bit of shrinkage in the industry? We have. Um, absolutely. I think everybody has seen that. I think agencies, we've lost some agencies, um, but not a great deal. I think with the different verticals that we have under the AMG banner, whether it's Travel Savers for the Brick and Mortar, Nest Independent, or Nest Plus, um, we've been able to redirect the business. So we've seen some brick and mortar close, and they've taken the business home during the pandemic, and they fell nicely into place with Nest Independent. Um, we've seen some Nest Independent feel that potentially they didn't have the time to manage their business. Nest Plus fell nicely into uh, their business model as well. So. Um, we've been fortunate. We've been fortunate because of the diversity of our organization. So we're going to get back to Nest Plus in a second, but did you also want to mention CORE as something that developed during uh, the pandemic? Of course. All things training. That's, that's, that's my deal. Um, CORE has been a huge opportunity for us. CORE is our educational and tra uh, training platform that we were able to launch during the pandemic, and it's giving us the opportunity today to work with new to industry. Everybody out there needs new advisors. They are so busy, they just don't have enough help. And what we're seeing is more and more people are turning away business because they don't have the, the agents or the advisors to assist. So we built CORE, and it is a comprehensive training platform that will educate and train new to industry, but will also take advisors that have been in the business for quite some time that need a refresher course. Um, CORE has been a savior for them as well, so great opportunity for us to get training out there. Terrific. Now, Nest Plus, could you explain a little bit about what Nest Plus is and what are the primary benefits for agents who join Nest Plus? So Nest Plus is one vertical that we did not have under our banner. Um, you know, we had Nest Independent. We have Travel Savers for the brick and mortar. We did not have that hosted side. And if you take a look at Nest Independent, there is a certain criteria. We are very strategic on the agencies that we that we went after, and they must be doing at least you know half a million dollars worth of business. There are so many accounts out there today that weren't that we were turning away, or that were looking to come into our organization because of what we offered. Um, so Nest Plus was that stopgap. That was the filler for them, and. Some will stay within that organization, and others will take the different paths that we have. Others are looking to become independent. They want to grow their brand. They want to get their name out there, so they'll become Nest Independent one day. Or they're looking to eventually get into a brick and mortar, maybe open a brick and mortar, and they'll move to the travel saver side. But we needed that opportunity. We needed that vertical um, in order to fulfill for accounts that we were um, potentially turning away, turning away the business because we didn't have a home for them. Great. Now, you've put on some new staff. And I think based on the new staff appointments, it shows um, that you're putting a lot of emphasis both on the Canadian market as well as the independent agent. So I thought uh, you might like to comment on that. Both extremely important um, verticals for us. Canada, um, we've always seen a need in the Canadian market. We've been up there for 20 years. Um, very strategic, again, on the agencies that we've brought on. 
we did not have a strong foothold in the Quebec market. Um, so that has been a huge emphasis for us. So Canada has been, um, we've seen some incredible growth in the Canadian market. Um, and we were, you know, managing it, of course, with our staff up in the Canadian market, as well as Nicole and I and our staff in the States. Um, there's so much opportunity there. So we thought it was time to go out and truly look to focus on growing um, that business. So we brought in somebody that will oversee all of it, which is Jane Clementino. Um, we'll manage the team up there, as we all know, Kathy Lewis Hardy, who had been with us since our inception mm -hmm. for 20 years, decided to retire on us. Um, so going out and finding an industry veteran, someone that was well respected in the uh, in the Canadian market to help us grow that business was extremely important. And we've done that. It is an amazing business. There are amazing opportunities for us up in the Canadian market. Um, we've seen it over the 20 years, and it's just time to explode um, up, in, up in Canada. What percentage of your, um, of, of your uh, family is in Canada as opposed to uh, the US? Well, up in the Canadian market today, with the expansion in Quebec, we have 350 accounts here in the states on the brick and mortar side with travel savers we've got close to 1600 um, with nest independent we have a little under 500 and now on the hosted side we're just hitting the hundred mark so a much smaller percentage up in Canada today and what do you see as uh, the expansion expansion potential up there um, we're strategic you know, we are not looking to be everything to everyone. We're very uh, strategic on the accounts that we go after. Um, so we will grow, but with the right agencies up in Canada. And crypto is something, a new advent, is that you're going to be able to accept cryptocurrency. Do you want to discuss a little bit about that? I can take that. So, sure. We have partnered, a new partnership that we have launched here um, with a crypto um, finance company. Uh, that enables our agencies in order to take cryptocurrency. We're really excited about this opportunity. It gives our advisors the opportunity, if somebody is looking to use that currency type, to be able to book travel through those advisors. We will be working with preferred partners with their product as well to ensure that they are able to come onto this platform and have their product available to these folks as well. Great. Now, um can you explain about uh, the new digital segmentation capabilities that you'll have uh, that are coming up? With Online Express, which is our consumer website portal that we have for our advisors today, we are working with new technology that allows them to, to track their consumers in a more effective and efficient way with this new tracking system that we do have. They will be able to understand their consumer habits much better. They will be able to effectively bring that lead in and market it and have a higher close ratio due to this technology that we are building into the platform. We know next year that there will be some privacy changes that will happen in the market. So we have proactively initiated this technology to ensure that our agencies are able to market effectively to their databases today and attract new in. And um, I know that you've brought on some new preferred suppliers, but you're also joining with CVVs. And I'd like you to talk a little bit about the importance of that, because that's not something I hear a lot about. Sure. So we have brought on some new preferred partners that are here with us at show that we're really excited about. Um, but it's also important as advisors are looking to grow into certain destinations that they have additional training resources, um, that we have additional marketing resources for them. And the CVBs have been a great resource for that in order to educate the advisor on that destination and work with us in order to do that. So we have done some really great alignments with different CVBs. Um, next year, we will see a larger growth in our on-location program, which is uh, growing out the base of DMCs. We have hired on a new team that is going to look after that and grow out that market for us as well. We are seeing in the market a strong need and request for, as we all know, small, immersive, destination-based vacations. Um, so we just want to ensure that our advisors have all the resources in order to gain that client. One last question, and that is, here we are celebrating 50 plus two years of AMG. What's in store for the next 50 years? Oh. Innovation, <laughs> um, we will continue to evolve. You know, we are 19 brands 50 years from now. 
we'll be 40 maybe, 45. <laughs> um, you know, we're in this for the long haul. Um, the sky's the limit in this industry. The sky's the limit within our organization. Yeah. Um, the growth will continue. It truly will. Um, you know, our, our father is still at this hel the helm of the company, and stopping at 19 brands is not an option for him. Um, he is so forward-thinking. He is such a visionary um, that he's passed that down to all of us and our team to ensure that um, we stay ahead of the times and that we keep evolving because the day you stop, the day that's the day you go out of business. So we will continue to grow. We will continue to um, work with the right agencies. We will continue to service the way we service. We will continue to marketing the way we market. Um, we will continue to go out with technology and build new platforms and stay with the times. Perfect. Is there anything that you'd like to say that I didn't ask about? We're thrilled. We're thrilled to be here. We're thrilled to be in front of um, so many of our top advisors and preferred partners. Um, it's been a long, long two years. Unfortunately, we're celebrating our 50th a couple of years late, but it's so exciting to watch the energy that's been in the room, the optimism, um, the excitement has just been incredible. So we're grateful. We're happy to be back. We're happy to be doing this face-to-face. -face. We're happy to be hugging again. Um, and we're just looking forward to the, to the future. Well, thank you very much for joining us. This is John Barkley, Insider Travel Report.